Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting off a weekly vlog. So it is currently Sunday and I'll be vlogging throughout the week and uploading it next Sunday. It is absolutely beautiful today. I just have to document the fact that it is currently 75 and sunny. And this is what us Georgians refer to as like the fake spring. We always get like thrown this beautiful weather and then when you let your guard down, there'll be like snow. So have to enjoy it while we can. I'm sure Tim and I will get a walk in later, but I have a couple things to unbox. So I have a PR gift from Kendra Scott and then a couple Walmart and I think a Nordstrom package to open and the Walmart stuff should already be up on my channel. So I'll link that here if you want to check it out. It's going to be a free assembly haul. First is a little PR gift from Kendra Scott. They're one of my favorite brands. Usually it's just one box with a couple things inside. So the first thing are these heart earrings in the really pretty blush. I also have these in Mother of Pearl so I may hold on to these for a little giveaway for you guys. I usually do giveaways over on Instagram just because it's a lot easier to contact the winners. So if you want to win those, make sure you're following along on my Instagram. And then these are really pretty. Actually, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. They're like a beaded hoop. I also got rose gold. I have a lot of gold jewelry, so I kind of wanted to start styling a couple more rose gold pieces. And then last is this pretty pearl ring which hopefully it looks like it will be adjustable because I can definitely tell my hands feel a little more swollen today than they have and I know that's common with pregnancy but it's this really pretty pearl ring all right next I ordered a new pair of pajamas which I probably do not need after 2020 let's be honest but this one is like a dress which most of mine are like pants sets. So I thought this would be great with a growing bump. Okay, so our first thing is the famous shacket. If you saw my fashion trends I hate, um, I mentioned that I ordered this. So we'll see how that goes. I got a size small. And then this top is so cute. Um, I think you could probably wear it off or on the shoulder. Came in four color. Thought this would be cute with white jeans. This dress is so cute, right up my alley. This would be great for work as well. So I'll be sharing all of this cute stuff in a haul that should be up on my channel already. So now I feel like I need to do a little picking up. The office always gets destroyed when I film a try on haul and there's just random things. So I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse of me cleaning up my office. I like to kind of get it ready for the work week. Here is what I am wearing today. It's casual Sunday. I just threw on this comfortable sweatshirt dress from Amazon. This one's very similar to the one I shared in my Walmart haul that was a major fail. I like this one much better. There are no pockets. There are no weird attachments. If you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. So when I just got back from dinner and I just wanted to show you guys my little date night outfit. It was actually like nearly 80 degrees here in Atlanta today. So I wore this flowy dress from Pebble and Pup. I do have a promo code, but it did change. So it's now Amanda J20, just a heads up there. But this is what I wore. And then I wore the blush Tory Burch Millers in a crossbody bag. And then for jewelry, I already took it off, but I wore these two bracelets and then these white earrings from Kendra Scott. Hey everyone, it is Monday. So just getting started with today's vlog and it's already almost two o'clock. Mondays I always start off the day pretty much on a call with my assistant and doing like emails and things like that. So not much to show you guys yet but I'm about to film a try on haul with the new Walmart stuff. All of this free assembly stuff from Walmart so I'll link the video here. It should be up on my channel. I have also been kind of taking a peek at like hotels and rentals for a little baby moon for Tim and I 
in a couple months. Um, I'm going to my doctor, my new doctor actually on Wednesday, I'm seeing a midwife. So I'm going to talk to her about all that before we book it. And this morning also, so if you didn't know, on the first of every month, I send out a new lookbook. The first one I ever did was for the Nordstrom anniversary sale and the response was so well received. So ever since then, I've been sending one out every single month, kind of centered around a specific theme that's kind of going on. This month's was all about workwear. So for those of you looking for workwear inspo, I would definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. I cannot believe how long I've been filming a video. <laughs> I think I started at two something and it is now six o'clock so if you haven't seen my walmart free assembly video please go watch it and let me know if the extra time is worthwhile if it's helpful would love your feedback because if it's not worth it then i won't continue to film them that way <laughs> that's for sure my room is destroyed i will show you guys how horrible my room looks after a try on haul so here we have a lot of the shoes I wore um, I kind of put them all together so that I could do close-ups and we just have clothes everywhere I didn't even use those over there and then more over here this morning I picked up the mess that I showed you guys yesterday and I am probably about to eat lunch. I have a call with one of my TPI students. If you didn't know, I started a course last fall all about how to grow your business as an influencer. And I have a call with one of the students today to get her feedback on her experience. And I'll link more info down below if you are wanting to learn more about the course. So I'm wearing this little grid sweater today. I was absolutely freezing earlier, so just kind of wanted to bum bundle up in something cozy. I think I'm wearing a size small in this. I did get it last fall, so I'm not sure if it's available. And then I'm wearing the Lululemon Align leggings per usual and some slippers. That is like one of my biggest fears when I leave the house, which having this little thing makes me feel better about it just because sometimes this will turn and I'm always paranoid it's going to turn and touch this or touch that. So I like having this pad underneath it. So I just got off my Zoom call, I guess was over an hour and a half and then Amazon came so I thought I would unbox my random Amazon purchases. My first random Amazon purchase is this continuous spray bottle. I saw on TikTok that people are using this for self tanner and I of course had to try it. <laughs> I'm always scared to like change up my self tanning routine because you just never know how it's going to turn out but that'll be interesting. I'll keep you guys updated. A refillable Bona hardwood floor cleaner. Exciting stuff. That is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting, but. So before I start editing the video for tomorrow, I'm actually going to edit all the photos that I typically take during my try on hauls so that I can upload those into the Like to Know It app. That is the quickest and fastest way for me to get out new outfits to you guys because I know things sell out very quickly. So that's kind of how I try to combat it. So I want to just go ahead and get that up and out of the way. I would have actually done it earlier, like this morning, but I've been having issues with my airdrop all day long and my, they just haven't wanted to work out. And that's how I send the photos from my phone to my computer. So if you're not following me and like to know what app, it's Strawberry Chic XO. So it is almost five o'clock. The editing and linking took a lot longer than I expected and now I'm like so tired. I just wanna lay in bed and get my feet up a little bit, but all the outfits are in the Like To Know It app. So if you don't know what the app is, essentially I link all the things in the outfits and you can save them to your wish list. Um, save the outfits for inspo, all of that good stuff. Hello, happy Thursday, friends. So, missed yesterday's vlog. I basically just had, like, absolutely no time to pick up the camera, it felt like, yesterday. So, I'll catch you guys up really quickly. Yesterday was just kind of one of those, like, rushing around days, it felt like. Woke up super early. I was working on editing the free assembly haul that you guys probably already saw. And I was wanting it to go up in the morning because I had a doctor's appointment 
but I essentially just had to like rush out the door getting ready and then my car battery was dead and I was like, yay, <laughs> good timing. Um, luckily I just took Tim's car and it wasn't a big deal. But I did see the new, or I went to the new practice that I mentioned in my last vlog and in my 20 week bump date that I was looking into switching to a midwife or just another practice. And after that visit, I feel so, so much better. Um, way more confident that if any any issues do arise, like I know I'm in good hands, so I just feel so much better about it. Basically, my biggest concern, and I don't want to, I guess I'm always hesitant to get a little too personal, which is a good and bad thing, but I thought I would share for those of you who are maybe in the same boat. I have a history of some blood pressure issues. Both my parents have high blood pressure and I am very much like my daddy, <laughs> daddy's little girl and just get very like 100 miles an hour and I'm just like a very driven person and sometimes I just need to calm down. And I think that has a lot to do with my blood pressure issues, but at the same time, I it is one of my main concerns with pregnancy because I I just want that to be monitored very closely. That was one thing that I, like one of the main reasons why I was wanting to switch because I just felt like that wasn't getting assessed properly. Now after talking to the midwife, like she's having me take baseline blood tests just so she can really closely track it. And yeah, I just feel really good about it. So that will probably help with my blood pressure issue. <laughs> Anyway, Baby J is looking really good, which is the biggest blessing. She weighed like a pound yesterday, and um, the we did the ultrasound. Everything was good with finishing off the anatomy scan with her heart and all of that. So let's open up a couple of random things that have come in. First, I'm actually not going to open this. Those are little curtain not curtain rods, but I guess curtain rings. And I don't think the curtains that I ordered are coming in until the beginning of April. So just to keep that all together, I'm just not going to open that yet, but I'll link the ones I ordered down below and the curtains if you're curious, but those are going in our bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I saw this dress on the website at Target. So cute. It looks very much like something you would see at a, a boutique. It's a midi length dress. So I'm sure y'all will be seeing that in some sort of video soon. All right, so the next package is actually a bunch of swimsuits. I'm doing a collaboration with Cupshe. I am going to Savannah and Tim and I are doing a mini baby moon in Florida. So I needed some swimsuits and I figured some of y'all might be in the same boat if you're looking for bump friendly options, but obviously these are all regular non-maternity swimsuits as well. So I got a bunch of one pieces. I did get one two piece just to see, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it. The first one is this ruffle, kind of crimson color, one piece. This one, I feel like this one might be my favorite. It has um, scallops on the top and this green floral print. Reminds me of my honeymoon in Hawaii. This one is a little more neon than I was anticipating, but I figured that one would be a good one for the bump. Another one piece, this black and white gingham. This one I feel like will probably be really flattering. It's just a black one piece but then it has mesh details like right across here that's scalloped. I don't know if you can even see that. And I felt like that would be very flattering and then the two piece that I got this is the top. It's like this cute little ruffle top. Bottom is like a high-waisted stripe. So we'll see how that goes. Thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this heart zip jacket. I think I shared this in my spring outfits try on haul and it's just comfy but also still cute. And then I'm wearing the Spanx basic tee. This is definitely great if you are pregnant because there's a lot of extra length to it. And then I just have on some black Amazon leggings and slippers per usual. I actually wore something similar to this yesterday. Um, it was actually a, another part of the stress. I was trying to get ready and everything I kept pulling was wrinkled. And I'm like, this is why I always recommend to have everything steamed before you put it back. It just adds to that stress when you're just trying to get out the door and then you have to keep picking things to wear in your wardrobe. This is actually the pile 
of that happening yesterday. I was wanting, I was gonna wear the pink sweater and then the white sweater. I just kept them out because I'm like, I need to steam these. They just aren't looking good. So learn from my mistake. That's just, I know it's like easier said than done, but it definitely helps make a difference when you're trying to rush out the door, especially um, for those of you like getting ready in the morning to go to work. I always felt like having things ready to go and steamed made it less stressful in the morning. I moved my little ottoman below my desk here so that I could keep my feet up just to help with swelling throughout the day. Oh my gosh, and I have to show you all these. My neighbor actually got these for baby girl. It's like this cute little footy strawberry onesie and then this tiny little newborn onesie. Um, I, both of them are from Old Navy. So I just got to Target. I wanted to pick my order up because today is the last day. I was waiting for my car to be ready. We took it to get a new battery and they were just not getting to it. So in Tim's car again. Checking out all my white sneaks. Fresh. <laughs> you don't see me wearing Air Force One? No. Hello, happy Friday. I have been looking forward to Friday all week long because I'm finally like venturing out to Atlanta to get my favorite avocado toast at Spiller Park. And my mom is also joining me, which is a very, very rare occasion. She does not like to go shopping downtown. I don't think we've been downtown honestly since like wedding dress shopping in 2016. So it's a beautiful day and I'm just so excited. I think we're gonna go to the container store to look at some more organization stuff and then I have some Nordstrom returns to take care of. So I feel like it really helped having a Friday to look forward to because I was more productive during the week whereas normally Thursday and Friday are my more productive days. So it was nice to kind of flip flop it and feel like I have a day off. So I definitely feel the winter style rut, which I'm sure most of us are feeling. I'm just ready for spring weather and I'm kind of just sick of wearing sweater and leggings, but right now it's kind of the only thing that's comfortable with the bump. So you guys have seen this Amazon tunic multiple times. I try to add in a little bit of spring with this ponytail scarf and then these earrings are Kendra Scott. And then these are the Amazon leggings. I've definitely noticed Compared to the Lululemon ones, they like to roll down on the belly, so I'm always like pulling them up, it feels like, but they're $25, so. I am also getting a spray tan at the end of the day, which also like went, factored into what I was gonna wear because it has to be loose fitting. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is Saturday and it has been a very slow morning. It's actually like three o'clock already. And I guess yesterday took it out on me because I ended up sleeping until nine or 10 o'clock. <laughs> which hasn't happened in a good while. So yesterday I started off the day with my favorite avocado toast in Atlanta, which is from Spiller Park. And mom hasn't been to Pont City, so it's the first time there. We walked around a little bit. Just got to Pont. Here's my cutie little mama. She got all dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> with her denim jacket. Um, but we're gonna grab some avocado toast at my absolute favorite place here in Atlanta called Spiller Park. It's our first time. I always love introducing new people to it. And we'll probably look around. And then we went to Perimeter Mall. I had a couple of returns and then I also, I'll show you guys, I switched out. I got a couple things actually I'll share. Hold on. So at Perimeter, I went into Sephora. I had to pick up a couple of essentials that I have essentially 
repurchased for like the last five years. First is my favorite mascara. This is the Dior Over Curl Mascara. And then my favorite dry shampoo, the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo. This one comes in a light tone, but they also make dark tones. I have used both of, both of these <laughs> since like the beginning of time, it feels like, but they're by far some of my favorite beauty products. So I replenished those. And then I popped into Lululemon and picked up my favorite leggings, the Lululemon Align leggings. These, I got a size six, and these you can typically size down, but I got a six because I have been living in these during pregnancy, and I know that's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So wanted to get another pair of those. And then after going to the mall, we went over to the container store and I wasn't necessarily, I guess, prepared. I didn't really know what I needed for this room specifically, but I did pick up some of these three compartment hanging sweater bags. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to organize things and that type of thing. So that will probably be in an upcoming video. And then this morning, I have essentially just been doing some boring stuff, actually going through some of my analytics and I'm just trying to get a better sense of where I need to spend my time. I'm Obviously with baby J on the way, I know my time is gonna be completely different, but I'm just trying to figure out right now how to best optimize when I'm filming, when I'm uploading, um, and where I may be wasting some of my time. So that's kind of what I was doing today. It was, I guess, essentially a business audit, <laughs> kind of boring. But right now I actually need to film a collaboration. That's why my hair is like this, because it's a swimmer collaboration, which I did not, have on my radar during pregnancy, but I feel like it would be a very helpful collab to do. So I'll be sharing some one pieces on my TikTok and Instagram stories if you're looking for any conservative swimwear, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Here is a little sneak peek. This one is super cute with a ruffle detail. And so I am actually shocked at how well that swimwear try on haul went. I mean, I felt good in all of them and I would say four out of six were really good very comfortable i didn't feel like a stuffed sausage you know didn't give me a wedgie when i walked around so and then now i just tried on these zella maternity leggings not sure how i feel about them they feel loose in the top and then this is a basic top from target i featured it in the try on haul i will link here if you missed it and let's see it is 4 30 so before I close out my work day, I guess I want to go ahead and take a couple of photos of the white sneakers and do, like I want to do an Instagram reel with them and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. All right, so I finished that up. Now I'm going to edit this vlog. So I'm going to sign off here. Tim and I are about to head out for a walk and then probably grab some dinner and then I will probably be editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you want to keep seeing these here on my channel, definitely give it a thumbs up just to let me know to keep spending time on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later this week with a new fashion video.